You can see I've got my pinning tray out, which means I'm going to have a go at picking and gutting a lock. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know full well when it comes to gutting locks, I'm not the best. Now, this is an unbranded six pin Euro cylinder. I've got no key for it and I haven't actually picked this one yet. And I'll do most of my videos where I pick locks and I've already picked them and I can get them open in a reasonable time because I've done a bit of practice, but this is genuine first time at picking this one. So I'm gonna to try to pick it, hopefully I can, and we're gonna gut it and see what's inside it. But like I say, bear with me, it could be a disaster. I am certainly not renowned for gutting locks. I've said it in the past, if you wanna learn how to gut locks, watch Chris Capoon, he makes it look so easy. Me? No. So anyway, let's see if we can get into it. Oh, by the way, I'm using the homemade half diamond. I forgot to mention that. I was that keen to start picking, see if I can get into it. If you've not, get my words out, if you've not watched my channel before, I've picked a few locks now with this homemade half diamond and I've also done a, a video showing you how to make it. So if you're new to my channel and you want to know how to make a pick out of an axle blade, I'll put the link to that particular video in the comments and the description below. Oh, we got a nice, nice full set then. I don't know if you've seen that. So let's see if we can find something to give us a bit of counter. Front pin feels, yeah, just trying to get on that front pin. See, I'm getting the, the counter then. When I says counter before, I meant full set. I think I says counter, I'm losing the plot again today. But we didn't get into it then. I thought we was gonna get the open then. Normally when you go into a full set, you can just find that one pin what gives you the counter rotation and then you get the open but not in all cases you might have a few few spools in there like i say i've not picked it before i've not gutted it i don't know what's in there got no key for it don't know what the bitting is it'll all come clear at the end of this video so it is going to be a long video and i know for a fact it's not everybody's thing watching videos drag on too long most people like a short and sweet video or well, saying that i'm only guessing that to be honest i've never done a survey so i wouldn't really know somebody did tell me a while back that have you seen that and then i got a right clunk out of that somebody told me a while back that if you do a video more than five minutes people lose interest but like i say i don't know Comments below, oh, we get it. Comments below will be much appreciated. So we've got it open. We've got to try to gut it. So let me just reach over and get this pinning shoe out. And then we're gonna to try to take the circlip off the back, which as you well know, is the thing what really gets my goat up. But I've got a new method. Yeah, I've got that, which is a circlip removal tool. But I'm gonna put that in there like that, he says. And then I've got another one and I'm gonna use them both together. Just rest it on the table. And see if we can prize it that way. There you go, so that won't too bad. For the first time, I've got the clip off successfully. So anyway, let's see if we can get this out. There's the core. So it has got six pins in it. This camera's not focusing very good today. Dep 
depending on how this goes now, I may speed the video up, but we'll see what happens. So let's go through the pins. Oh, look at that, straight away, two come out. So this is me with my gut in. Not the best. Ignore those two. I mean, your anti drill pins. Right, let's move them out of the way for now. We don't want them. Twist these around. Yeah, my arm is probably getting in the way, but I am. Uh, so first of all, let's have a look at the key pins. This camera really doesn't want to focus today. That's the key pins. And what we'll do now is we'll see, let's get that at the bottom of there. We'll see if we can just pick them up one by one like we have in the past, just by pulling the pinning shoe forward. Getting all that junk out of the way as well. So this is the first one. To be honest, my camera is just not focusing today, so I'll have to take pictures and put them on the end after. It's a different iPad I'm using. My old iPad, I don't know if I told you. I was doing a video and I uh, dropped it and broke it. And it was a decent iPad as well. It was the uh, top of the range one, whereas the one I've got now is a bit of a budget iPad. Free standard up to now. There's got to be one spool in there, surely, because we've got a quite a deep full set at some stage. Springs are coming out here, there's the spool. Almost there. And it's not been that much of a disaster for me. Of a spool, and then the last one is a standard. So two standards in there, and the rest were spools. Let me show you the springs. Should be one more spring somewhere. Yeah, I can see it. You can see it in there, it's just, I think it's the third one down or the second one down. Doesn't want to come up. Yeah, we got it. And that's the last one. So like I say, it didn't focus very well, but I will put some pictures on the end of what was in there. But that's it for now. That's a uh, six pin Euro cylinder picked and gutted without cutting myself or without losing any of the bits inside. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Try it a bit.